Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Sam. And I'm Melissa. I grew up in the FLDS polygamous community run by Warren Jeffs. I moved out of that community when I was 18 years old. And today we wanted to answer the question for you, if polygamous and FLDS group members were allowed to dance. There, I know there are other polygamous groups that were allowed to dance. I'm hearing and, and talking with Amanda Ray and that uh, dancing in other polygamous groups was definitely al is allowed. And when you were a kid, were there dances as a community out there? So when I was so small that I can barely remember it, uh, for certain events, uh, like I remember the 4th of July, for example, and I believe also the 24th of July, because we're from U we're from Utah, uh, they 20, did... Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to cut you off. No. The 24th of July is called Pioneer Day, and yes. it celebrates the day that um, Utah was Estab found, established and founded. Yep. So, yeah. for those of you who are like, what does that mean? That, that's why. <laughs> On 24th of July is a big deal. It's like a second yes. 4th of July in Utah. It's a lot yes. of fun. Go ahead. So, it's 4th of July, 24th of July, I believe also the Harvest fest uh, festival, festival that we had out there uh, in August or October. Trying to remember which one? Probably October. Probably, uh, definitely October. Yes, definitely October. So anyway, for those big uh, community events, they did have dances, and this was when I was really young, though. I mean, this was almost too long ago for me to remember. But uh, the boys would. It was very. Uh, con it was a very controlled environment. It wasn't. A, it wasn't a free for all. <laughs> but the guys could go up and ask one of the girls to dance. Okay. So, I mean, I know so this is probably like shocking. So just like dancing, like yeah. make sure there's enough space. Were there like chaperones like watching to make sure everyone was appropriate? Most likely. Most likely. Once again, I don't really, I didn't really pay attention to that. Sure, you're young. I, I just have memories of being around my family and older siblings talking about it and saying, oh, hey, maybe I should go ask someone to dance. That's, that's, about, that's about the gist of what I uh, remember. So who put a stop to the dances in the community? Oh boy, um, it would have had to, so it was during the time that Rulin Jeffs, Warren's dad was uh, in charge, he was the prophet still, but during the time as I was growing up in my early teens and that, Warren Jeffs, even though he wasn't the prophet yet, he was, he had a lot of control. So I'm going to guess that it was Warren Jeffs that put an end to it. Since, gotcha. since he liked to put an end to all fun, that when, it was probably what it was probably him. So when Rulin was a lot older, right, and mm -hmm. he was kind of in poorer health, right. basically Warren had kind of started taking over, even though he wasn't like official. Right. Yeah. Even even the moment I was born, Rulin Jeffs was getting older. Yeah. And so most of my remembering him, most of my memories about Rulin Jeffs was him in a wheelchair or him being helped on the stage and that. So Warren Jeffs already was starting to have a lot of power even at that time. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, some people might be wondering like, why doesn't a prophet just, once they get that old, why didn't they just like let mm. them retire? But being a prophet in the FLDS as well as the LDS is a lifetime calling until they pass away. Right. So there's never like, okay, just let this, you know, this man's 90 years old now. Let's have him uh, step aside and have somebody younger or anything. It is, they stay, they remain profit okay. until they die. Until they die, yep. And then, and then in the FLDS, how it worked was no one really knew for sure who the next prophet was going to be. It wasn't structured like that. It was the prophet, the current prophet was going to announce or going to bestow upon the next person to be the, to be the next leader or the next prophet. Oh, like before they passed away. Right. Oh, interesting. And... That's why there was always such a big breaking, a, a big, I guess, split every time a prophet died. Because the prophet before uh, Rulin Jeffs, Roy Johnson, he, when he uh, died, one of, the, one of the men stood up and said, I'm supposed to be the next prophet. He told me. And another one said, no, I'm supposed to be the prophet. He told me. And so th that caused a split. split. Some people moved away. And that's kind of where Centennial Hills came from is during that time. They split off and started their own community. Wow. So Warren the Killer of Fun is the one yep. who stopped well, the dancing. Is my, that's my guess. I don't remember any speech or anything like that, but I do know that it came to an end when I was very young. Gotcha. And then what did, did you ever, as like a young polygamous boy, did you ever see other people dancing in the outside? No, no, because we didn't really, oh, oh, 
I would oh man, I'm trying to remember back if I ever saw any movies because there was we were we were allowed to watch some movies, not very many, but on very special occasions, <laughs> we would see a movie, but our father would have to be present, and not we couldn't even watch it if one of the mothers was there. The the father had to be present in the house to watch a movie, and I, I'm trying. To, I don't remember any dancing really in the movies we saw though, so. I wasn't really intro to introduced to any kind of dancing, no. So when you moved out, mm -hmm. what was your first time experiencing like being somewhere where there was dancing? And did you like get up and really just want to dance or were you like, oh my gosh, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I was probably probably the most awkward. Oh, it was it was like a deer in headlights. It was <laughs> very awkward. I, I believe the first dance I experienced after I moved out was actually a Halloween party that some of my friends that I made um, invited me to and so I went to this Halloween party and I mean first of all I, I wasn't used to people getting dressed up and that type of thing so that was kind of shocking to begin with and then just the way they were dancing and there I was just like I had no idea what to do I was like a fish out of water yeah. um, so I just kind of stood on the side and anytime someone would invite me to come in and dance I was just kind of like uh like I, I didn't know what to do. I, I was like, my my hands are just hanging here. I have no idea what to do with these. So it was very awkward. It took a long time to get used to not feeling uncomfortable, you know, busting a move in front of a in, in front in front of a crowd. So I'm still not that great, but but at least well. at least I pretend to know what I'm doing. So anyway, but it was at first it was very it was very awkward. Yeah. Even though like so after leaving, did you? Was it hard to like not judge people for dancing or like for movements and or like dancing crazy like you know what I mean or yeah. like any inappropriate dancing did that still feel like really uncomfortable for a long time? Uh, it was odd. I don't know about I don't know about in, uncomfortable necessarily. I was I was kind of I embraced the, the new lifestyle pretty quickly and I, I I tried not to judge people too much you know and, yeah. and I just kind of kind of uh, tried to understand that I came from a place that was so strict that what I was what I was used to, what I grew up with, wasn't the norm. Mm -hmm. So I just tried to kind of fit in the best I could. Gotcha. Yeah. So, what, what's your favorite way to dance now, babe? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite way to dance? Probably, definitely slow dancing. Slow dancing. Slow Maybe dancing, slow, dancing. slow music, because that, that I can figure out. It's any of the fancy moves that I have a hard time and with. And he's got rhythm, so like when we slow dance, like he, he does a good job with that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Well, if you guys want to hear more about what it was like for Sam growing up in polygamy, please like and subscribe. Ask your questions in the comments. We love answering questions. Yes. And hopefully now you'll know a little bit more where the FLD is like compared to like Footloose. So yeah. you'll be able to properly compare. <laughs> compare them, exactly. Yeah, so we'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you, we'll talk to you soon.